Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Turfinut and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last time we had some business with the local herbalist and now we'll continue on to the main quests, the Beast of Wide Orchard. So we're looking for Buckthorn. We're gonna find that first. So Buckthorn grows underwater, as the herbalist mentioned. So let's take a dip. I'm gonna gather some more. I think I'll be able to make some use out of it. Okay. Gather it. Okay. So that's the buckthorn and that's supposed to smell terrible when it's out of the water, so probably not the greatest idea this. This is the house, yeah, of the lady with the pan. So now we need to pay a visit to that hunter. Probably in that shack over there. Judging by the deer skin hanging outside. Or well, wolf skin. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Okay. Trails fresh. Ms. Love just left home. Ms. Love, that was the name. Seems to have gone in the woods. I'm gonna call Scan Quen periodically. Just in case. Oh! <laughs> Hi, Ms. Love. You, Ms. Love. Shh! Hear that? Yep. Wolves. No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous so? than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. <laughs> and I, they've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? That's a painful analogy. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Okay. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Yeah, sure, why not? Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. Okay. Have these dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. And a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt. Gut stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. Too late. Attacked another one. Attacked another one? Oh, shite. So let's check the bodies for anything we can use. And then he up. Wow. Jesus. Dieter. You know him. They tore him we apart. Served at the Lord's Manor together. Where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before. Well, a long time ago. I'm sorry, man. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. Have you seen me? I'm a freak, too. Why? 
but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Oh. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. So, homosexuality is, all, is not approved of in The Witcher, apparently. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was I mean, to show of course, you where I the, found the Nilf Guardians. The world of Come. The Witcher. Can I loot the guy? Griffin, oh. know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. I can hear your footsteps right now. But well, I get your point. Okay. Yes, we're here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts blade stretching down to... Thanks for the details. Watch out for yourself now. <laughs> That's a bit uh, racist. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Why would I Good lie about now. that? Ooh, is that... Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. I thought they were sent to deal Brown's with the Griffin. Black, saturated with blood. Are those coming closer? A camp. Okay, the marker. Psst. Yes, cuckoo. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Okay. So they got. Stabbed and then walked away. Ooh. Thank you. And they went for quite a hike, and that cuckoo is not stopping. <laughs> Wolves bane. Can normally burn off honeycombs with igni, and then you can harvest it when it falls off. Griffin's nest. What remains of it, at least? Ooh. Um. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. So there's another dead Griffin here. and her wounds have already hatched and did at least a week other griffin must be a male what happened deep cuts over the whole body not a drop of blood on the beak or claws didn't defend herself crept up on her while she slept strange beak tips worn gray hairs in the coat 10 12 years old Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Oh, so the soldiers were celebrating because they thought they killed the griffin, but there were actually two griffins. Got it. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Okay, that seems to be it. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first. Then started prowling the area. Done what I could. 
Should talk to Vesemir. Never underestimate your opponents. This rule is at the core of the Witcher's Code, and for good reason. Proper preparation has saved many Witcher's life. It is likewise worth your while to brew potions, concoct oils, or visit the craftsmen before engaging in combat. If you expect to battle a strong opponent, you might want to complete some side quests before attacking. This will allow you to gain experience and develop your character, giving you a better chance of winning the fight. That's probably true. Split bolts. Anything else? I hear something. Can I loot the nest? Burned. Only a human could do this. So yeah, they killed it, Bones. burned its nest. Horse, dog, human. A few months worth. What's that noise? Medellin's humming. Place of power. It's got to be. do that. Okay. So places of power allow me to boost one of my signs temporarily and I gain an ability point the first time I use one. So let's see what we can do with that. Let's use, let's acquire this as well, so that my shield explodes when it is broken, best for my uh, defensive strategy. For now I only have one mutagen. So now my shield should explode whenever it's broken. So let's find that Temerian treasure. I'll first check out if we can't brew anything new as I have found a few wolves bane and a salandine I need it for the bombs okay now I have bombs okay great 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 I need one more wolves bane for the cursed oil should be some around here seems to be a purple flower that sounds like a drowner That's another Drowner. So that's a lot of Drowners. Oh crap. Running! That was bad. That was really bad. Holy shit! So I can handle one. That were four drowners. I got my work cut out for me. Arch Griffin decoction. And a dancing star bomb. Okay. Nice. So it was worth all the trouble. But we were looking for a treasure. And where do we find treasure? Probably near abandoned buildings. Uh, I should equip those bombs I have. One set of bombs coming up. And then I'm gonna meditate for a bit till the next morning. So meditating on this difficulty only allows me to refill my potions as you can see over there. So let's see if we can make 
a dancing star already, but I need a bit more sulfur. And I think I got a new set of boots, yes. So let's continue our little treasure hunt. So now I got my bombs equipped as well. Another tool in our arsenal. Oh, sorry man. Okay, so we're almost at the spot and I don't see any enemies. I'm gonna cross this either way. I'm gonna guess it's inside here. Ooh, that was a nice batch. I'm gonna check in a second if I can't use anything I just picked up. I think I can. Oh. Water. It's also very useful. So, let's check this shack. Ooh. It goes down. So nothing in the immediate area. But if I... Yep, there we go. Okay. That's a lot of chests. Marion Rye, Marion Special Forces insignia, Scribble Documents, Crowns, and an Enhanced Saddle. So let's check out our little treasure. So, not a better sword. The hatchet does do a lot more damage. Uh, hunting trousers? Okay, they look terrible, but let's go with it for now. New gauntlets. The saddle, giving the horse extra stamina, and then there was this scribbled document. Hemi, no wonder we're losing this war. With cowardly cunts for soldiers, all it took were a few hours and a wallop of the mace for seasoning, and that was that. The battle was over and the whole convoy was ours for the picking. Maybe they were having such a hard time of it because of all that vodka they were carrying. Our brave warriors must have taken a sip from time to time, a bit obvious results. When you're seeing double, it's damned hard to hit your target. Take everything we gather to the cubby, then fence it quick as you can, except that showy parade shite. You'll have to bury or burn that. I reckon someone might recognize the insignia, and then there'd be trouble. Okay. Let's one of our books we... Emir Vazemri's rules to expand. He has trained his strategic brilliance on a singular vision to conquer the world though he rightly calls this not conquest but salvation. Yes, the Emperor of Nilfgaard sets the world alight with the torch of civilization. Trampling the still warm corpses of his father's usurpers, the Emperor seized the throne and began to assimilate the northern realms one after the other. Terror engulfed the north. Only the Battle of Brenna slowed the Imperial mar Army's march toward victory. A temporary peace then took hold, though none believed this mirage would last. Emir's aim to make the entire north of Vazal of Nilfgaard remain unchanged. Emir used peace as a cover to intensify his political efforts. Now all can see their results. Chaos and disorder devour the Nordling's estates. Just states. Ridden with internal bickering and backstabbing, they near collapse. Only a strong ruler grapple can grapple this dysfunction into function. Only a wise ruler can give vision to their blindness. Only Emir Vazemres can save the north. So our armies have again crossed the Yaruga for the third and final time. So a bit more of information about the new guardians and their emperor. It was a nice treasure hunt while it lasted. Maybe... oh. Shield up, just in case anyone comes to claim uh, 
the treasure back. But apparently they don't. White Orchard Cemetery with a place of power, but this doesn't seem right. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Oh. So this is a wraith. Okay. Okay, where did he go? He wasn't dead yet. So that soldier. That was the first clue. So what's this all about? And an extra ability point. Right. So maybe I can make the explosion a bit bigger. Let's improve the illusion. I want to see what the next thing does. Increase the effectiveness. Reduces Axie cost in time. Failed Axie attempt stagger the target. Well, that's something. Let's see if I can't find anything about Wraith. Dogs. Some claim dogs are reflections of their masters. A well-treated pet repays his owner with loyalty and trust, whereas an ill-treated one repays his treatment in kind as well, meeting yells with barks and kicks with bites. Since there is an abundance of bad men, so too is there an abundance of bad dogs. Most dangerous of all are the vagrant mutts, who have lost all respect for man and developed a taste for blood and carrion. So, you've seen those. The drowners, maybe? A drowner resembles a corpse dredged from the bottom of a pond. It is sickly blue or green in color, with slime and sludge oozing out of every pore and the acrid stench of rot wafting off of it. That is why it is often thought the drowners, along with their more dangerous cousins, Vodniks, Mukniksers, and Drowned Dead, arise from the bodies of those who drown in shallow water. Lost travelers falling into bogs, children who swim too far from the shore, or, in the case of Vodniks, in the inebriated peasants who stumble off narrow swamp trails. The devil. So yeah, I read that. So let's see if we can't go in here. Oops. Okay, this is um Oh wow, okay. Goodbye. So let's take some swallow, swallow of that, because that were some nasty hits. And it's pitch dark in here. So it's probably best to just walk around with Igni equipped. Cavalry gauntlets and water. Ooh. What's this? To Ivor Evil Eye, Master Witcher of the Viper School. I have now found all the legendary diagrams once belonging to our order. Certain complications have arisen, however. On the way back to our keep, I stopped to rest a night in a village in the Temerian borderlands. The blasted peasants decided to make me into their scapegoat and accused me of kidnapping some beekeeper's brat. 
They took me into the local Lordling's castle for interrogation, during which they found and confiscated one of the diagrams. But do not fear, I will get it back. They did not find the others. I have invoked the Marian common law and demanded a trial by ordeal, instead of submitting to the whims of this baronet. My request was granted and tomorrow I am to cleanse the baronet's family crypt of rings. I expect this will prove little trouble. Perhaps I will already have returned to our keep by the time we receive this letter. Light of furnaces will have some fortune to do. Colgrim. Well, I'm sad to say that Colgrim apparently did not make it. But I found only one diagram. So I'm gonna track this. Search the castle ruins. So this must have happened a really long time ago. So that seems to be it. Medallion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. Yeah, I know. Wolves been. And wolves. Oh, wow! Okay! So, lesson learned. Don't go fucking about. And then we enter the dark forest. Dude, this is starting to look like a castle. Ooh, there seems to be enemies. Your ass is mine. Oh wow, okay, fuck. Your ass is mine. And then kinetic blast him off the ledge. Oh, wow, there go his legs. They will fall off now. So there seems to be one fellow left. So, all the bandits dead. Lesser Glyph of Vigny, Old Goat Hide. Ooh, there's a diagram. Um, and there was another book attached. Angrily scrawled notes. What am I supposed to fucking die for? To marry the die for that? So did my three brothers, and what did, what did that get them? Fuck all, that's what, not even a decent burial. And I always said a wise man learns from others' mistakes, so here I am, learning from his, and instead of dying for Tamaria, I'm going to rob those who killed Tamaria's sons. We've pitched the camp, got us a great spot in the middle of the woods near that old mill, now we're all set to go out on our first raid. Okay. Interrogation report. Persons taking part. Suspect Colgrim, Witcher of the Viper School. The Witcher Colgrim stands accused of kidnapping Vitti, son of Paul, a beekeeper residing in White Orchard. Suspect was detained pending trial. Upon detention, he was searched, and a diagram for the forging of the steel sword was found on his person. It is suspected this sword was used to intimidate or possibly kill the kidnapped child. It is likewise suspected that the accused possesses other such diagrams for the forging of death dealing implements, though none have been found to date. Sir Ignatius has requested the Witcher undergo preliminary inter interrogation with the application of torture. This will take place once a torturer with the proper qualifications has been found. Addendum, it was later discovered drowners were responsible for the boy's disappearance. Unfortunately, Colgrim died before his information reached the investigators. For it, rather than face the baronet's judgment, he chose trial by ordeal. Sir Ignatius agreed and ordered he cleansed the 
Verrier's family crypt of Spectres, Skolgrim never emerged from said crypt. It is highly likely the motley raids, Spectres and evil pirates residing therein proved too much for him. Indeed it was. So that's the whole story of poor Colgrim. But hey, we got two Witcher diagrams for it. It's something. Complete! So how did we get here? I'm gonna head back to White Orchard to talk to Vesemir. And do a bit of inventory management. You know what, I'm gonna first try and create these two swords if I can. Hello Willis. A return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Uh need you to craft something for I me. Need to forge something for me. So I can't make a warrior's jacket because I don't have the original jacket. Uh crafting. Let's see what I need actually. For the swords. Silver swords. Wrong craftsman. Oh, Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. Are you here to uh, craft something for me? Like you to craft something. So they're both just completely better. So yeah, I'll craft them. And the Viper Steel Sword. So I'm gonna equip those and then maybe sell my other swords right away because these are some serious boosts. Hell yeah. So those swords are actually quite unique because the green background means that that's Witcher gear and you can actually upgrade those by finding the better diagrams. Added to that is usually a special effect based on the Witcher school the weapons or gear come from. So the Viper swords all both have a chance to cause poison with the silver sword having an additional art sign intensity effect. So it can come quite in handy versus humans and non-humans alike. So the orbs also indicates oh what the fuck also indicate that I can implant runes in those. So I'm gonna embed a burning rune into the silver sword and a stun rune into the steel sword. So that pretty much rounds out our new equipment setup. Look at that sword, it's glowing! So now we'll head back towards White Orchard to go talk to Vesemir. Let's head back into town. Freak. And there's Vesemir. So I'm gonna take a quick break, break here. So thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye!